Oh my gosh, this is such an exciting day. So, I have been working big magazine collages for the last year. And I did that because Diane Reevely said, who is one of the OGs, Diane Reevely and Tisha Moore, OG collagers, magazine collagers, she said, work big. And I'm like, okay. But I bought a little collage book. This is the Creative Journal Black. So it's much smaller. And I'm gonna do smaller collage. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Tiny collages fly around. Ooh, lips. Okay. So what we're gonna do, yeah, we are going to put together some very cute collages. I have some things that we can use. So I have heads. I have heads. I love her head. I have bodies. And we're gonna make mini magazine collages. Okay, I have this body, I have this head. So I can feel like we should collect the heads and we should collect the bodies and we should collect the feeties. So heads, heads, heads. And why Diane said to all kinds of feeties and why Diane said, Diane Reevely said to do it small. I believe 100% what she said is small is hard. So I'm cutting up all these pieces and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is tiny and this is hard and it's easier to make big stuff. So, but I'm super excited that I've graduated after like 200 pieces of collages to small. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna just keep sorting. And then we're going to start making, uh, I call them paper dolls, where we're gonna take uh, different parts of these and make fun collages. Okay, like these guys are just a piece, they're kind of a background. This is just a piece, it's a background. So we're gonna put those together. I've got boots. I, I don't know what that is. Okay, whoo, this is exciting. This is an exciting day, people. I feel like I've graduated to the next level of collage. And we are gonna have some fun. We're gonna be fun girls and guys. Okay, do, do, do. And I got a whole bunch of bows. Those are fun. All right, so let's start with one and see how big an area I have on this magazine collage thing. Okay, so I love her foot and I need a, a head that's gonna be smaller. Ooh, what about this lady's head? Ooh, her head is fun. Or if I want to take this up, I can cut off this body. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna cut off this body. There we go. Now her head will fit much better. Ooh, I kind of love her. What do you think? but her head is gonna be very tipped over this way because her body is like this. I'm fine with that. Okay, first one. And we're just gonna use, I use Nouveau glue because it doesn't warp my um, magazine collage images. And I'm gonna stick this on and we're gonna come back and cut her neck the way I wanna cut it so that it will fit perfectly on this page. So that's number one. Okay, whoo, that's the very first page. It's very stressful. Okay, 
So how about this guy with a dog? We need a head so we can have a bigger head. That's a head with a um, thing. I don't love that. How about this lady's head? Okay, so this lady's head, we want stuff to put on top of it. So I have a basket. I don't know that that looks great. I have a hat like this. Ooh, that's kind of fun, isn't it? So if we put him right down to the bottom and make her a little neck, we have plenty of room for that hat. Okay, those guys go together. Next, okay, we have this lady who needs something to sit on. She could be sitting on this dog, but that seems weird. How about if she's sitting on a gem? Nope. Ooh. Ooh, is this the one? Is it too high? It's too high, gosh darn it. Okay, how about her? Okay, we can scooch this down all the way down to here and get her in there. I kind of love that. We're going to do that so far. All right, next body. This kind of weird man. Oh, this man is perfect for this weird long neck girl, but we have to have a hat for her. Oh yeah, so she has that hat, and how about her hat, nope. Can we make her hat have a fancy bow? I think I can. Okay, so she's going all together, all right. Do we have any more bodies? So I have this foot as a body with her head. Oh, I kind of love that. And we have, let's see. We could do that up there. I don't think that's fancy enough. Nope, no dodos. A bow. Ooh, what about a bow? Okay, I like her. She's gonna be on there. Okay. This is a very fancy rainbow background. I don't know if that goes like this way. I need I have some fun tops. Where is the other, is that what fell? Hold on, I don't see it, but I have another shrimp cocktail. Let me find that. Do you guys see it? I really loved my shrimp cocktails. Oh, there it is. All right, so this one needs to be all head. So I need a big head. And then I think we do his eyes on this head and the shrimp cocktails. And do we have the rainbow background? Yes. Okay, that all goes together. We have, let's keep going. So I need something for him to sit on. Oh, I love those guys. Do we have something for him to sit on? Will the birdies fit between his legs? And I can cheat that. Oh, how cute is that? Right, and I'll cheat the birdies going around, like I'll pull his leg out and have it come around. Oh, I love that with the 
gold. And how about if we do her this gold bobble? We're going to do something with that. And I will come back and show it to you. That's awesome. Okay. Next. Okay. This is going to be a fun one. So, we have, boink, 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 these bubbles. We have a head, and we have Karen's. So, my friend Deb Ward from Ireland calls them Karns, and my friend Diane Reevely, who doesn't know she's my friend from uh, England, calls them Karens. So we can make a circular thing with all these bubbles. That's going to go on there. And I might spread these out one further when I... do that. Okay. So, could we do bubbles as their tops? I kind of think so. What do you think? Bubbles as their tops. I can draw in more bubbles. Oh, I think that's that. So, these are bubbly people. This one, I kind of think I want to do I have another foot going the other way. I kind of think I want to do these feet with a head, but I don't have a head. What about this head? Oh, she might actually be okay. Oh, what about if we did that? That's cute. Okay, she's gonna be fine there. We'll figure something out. Okay, I have a bottom of a skirt feet. I have a... body. I have some sunglasses. All right, I feel like I did really good. I used up almost everything that I pulled out. I feel like we need to find, well, what if we do this? Ah, that's too freaky for me. I actually like a head. Okay, so I have a few little things, but I am going to, and I want to show you the difference, because I'm going to glue them all down, and then I will come back and show you the difference. But this is the difference in size between these guys and my normal people. So here is the size of a body of a normal person and then the size of the body of the tiny people. So they are much smaller. So I'm going to come back when these are all glued down. Okay, how fun. I wanted to show you real quick the paper dolls I made. So here is this gal. I just need to cut her neck and she has a man body. Here is this shoe gal with her bow and she fits on there perfectly. Here is this gal with her footstool head and a bow and a man body. And a man body. Here is a man body with a fun parrot thing to sit on and a jewel hat. Here is a fun gal who can sit on a gem with her nurse's body. We're going to give her clothes. Don't you worry. This is a gal with some uh, shrimp cocktail hat. And last but not least, we have this gal with the fun hair who's totally dipped back and just fits on the page. So those are our paper dolls for the 
mini collages and I am going to, well, I think I will with you. Hold on. I was going to let you go, but I think I am going to make some backgrounds with you using this uh, pattern paper and this pattern paper. So there's two different kinds of pattern paper. We are going to cut some. And I'm going to do one page and show you what it looks like when I put it on the back. And then the rest of them I'm going to do. And you'll have to see in another video. Okay, so I don't want that much. I want just little hints. So we're going to do one here. And maybe... Oh, that's better. Maybe one here. We're going to use Mod Podge. A lovely brush. Oh, a unicorn brush. I love these. But the nice thing about this uh, pattern paper on this black journal is it's going to mostly disappear, but it's going to provide a different surface for when we do painting or we do collage or anything like that. It's just going to show up differently which will give us a really fun collage thing to work with. And I'm not gonna put it on every page, I'm just gonna put it on some of the pages. But I really do love a old fashioned pattern background. We're gonna go this way. We're gonna go this way. Hey Wally, what are you doing, Bubba? We are a little discombobulated today because Grandma Linda had um, a problem and the paramedics came and she's at the hospital, so everything's good. We're working on getting her healthy again. But the doggies are upset and the son is upset. And so I'm just doing a bit of collage because I spent all day with her at the hospital. So I just needed to come home and do a little bit of collage to get my head on straight. Okay, because we worry about Grandma Linda. She's not doing great. But it sounds as if we have her in the right place. And if she was having a marketing emergency, I am your gal to call, but if she's having a medical emergency, I am less helpful. So think about this gal on here. It just provides a little bit of a different experience. I'm not going to do it on all of them, but I am definitely going to do it on some of them. So hopefully that helps. Tara Jacobson, Artsy Fartsy Life.